putting here. So let me to officially introduce a normal distribution and learn how to convert X values into Z values when we have confidential data. The normal distribution, as we saw before, has a bell shaped graph, bell shaped graph. Now remember that the graph is symmetric with respect to the mean, the mean. Now remember that, well, there are always gaps in between the graph and the horizontal axis, horizontal line, which represents x values. So x values are continuous, continuous variables. Like what? Like truth like this. Like IQ score, stock market, stocks. Like heights, like weights, and many things we can think about. Heights, weights, and many more examples. A normal distribution. So you remember that we said that the graph has area below it. The area below the graph is 100% or 1. The area is 1 or 100%. Remember that 100% is 100 divided by 100 which is one. So when you're talking about one, you're talking about 100%. And this gives us the probability. This area is equivalent to the probability. So when you're talking about the area, you're talking about the probability. Okay, so again, remember that we are using the actual value like x. Very well. So there's a question. Suppose you're working for government and you're a statistician. The government gives you the real data. Well, those data are mainly confidential data. You want to use the result of the data in a research. You want to present that to your classmates. Is there any way we can convert those confidential data into some data that are non-confidential and you can use the results of the data, the analysis of the data to your classmates? Very well. So one way is to take x value and convert x value into z score. So we can we are allowed to to take x value. Wow, confidential values and convert them into something new that we call z value. and convert them into value. Okay, here we're going to use a nice formula to use it as a machine and convert X values into some new data like we call Z. The formula that you're going to use is this machine, you're going to take each x value, find the difference between x and the mean, x minus the mean, 
and then divide it by the standard integration. Well, okay. I take each x value. I do the subtraction on the numerator. I use the mean. On the denominator, I'm going to use the standard deviation. This is a standard. This is just a normal distribution. We're going to convert the normal distribution into a standard normal distribution. So let me use a different color. I'll write it in the port for you. This is our normal distribution. Normal distribution. For x values, we take x values and we convert them all into z values, and we have a new name standard normal distribution. Very well. Okay. So, what are the properties of this new distribution? It happens that this new distribution, which we call standard normal distribution, has the exact same shape. Okay. So, so far, so good. It has the exact same shape. It is a bell shaped graph. What about the area? The area is going to be 100% or 1. So far, so good. All right. The area, which is 100% or 1. Well, then what happens to X? X converts into Z. Guys, when you're using standard normal distribution, your horizontal line is denoted by Z values. Okay, well, X is converted into Z. What happens to the mean? What happens to the standard deviation? Let's go back to empirical rule. From empirical rule, we can divide up a normal distribution this way. So, says that if, if you have a normal distribution, whatever the mean is, a percent of the data are within one standard deviation of the mean. Percent of the data are in one standard deviation of the mean. Okay, so it means that if I have the mean mu, mu minus one standard deviation, mu plus one standard deviation, plus 58% of the data. Okay, so that part. Just an approximation. Mu minus minima and mu plus. That's hey, 95% of the data are within two standard deviations. 95% of the data are in two standard deviations of the mean. Okay, so let's just go further here. 95% of the data. Mu plus two standard deviations and mu minus two standard deviations. So it's going to be 95%. And why 
additionally, 99.7% of the data are within three standard deviations. Often, 99.7% of the data are in three standard deviations of the mean. These are just approximation using the empirical method. Why we are writing this down? Because we want to convert each of these numbers into z scores, z values. E plus three standard deviation and mu minus three standard deviation. Okay. This is from empirical rule saying that hey, the probability that x is within mu minus sigma and mu plus sigma is 68 percent then the probability that the x value is within mu minus two standard deviation mu plus two standard deviation is 95 percent and finally the probability or the area below the graph is 99.7 percent if the data the values that we have are within three standard deviations of okay What are we going to do? You're going to convert each of these into Z values using the formula. Remember that Z is equal to X minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. This is a machine. You're going to take X values and plug them into this machine this machine converts x values into z values. Let's see. Let's start by taking the mean. So my x value is equal to the mean. All right. My x is equal to the mean. This is my very first x value. I'm going to plug that into this mean. So z becomes x is equal to the mean. So it becomes mu minus mu divided by standard deviation. We get zero divided by one standard deviation, which is zero. So your mean is zero. I took the mean and I just plugged that into this machine and it gave me zero back. Okay. So when it comes to standard normal distribution, the mean is always zero. All this. Okay, very good. So, the next number that I'm going to use, the next x value that I'm going to use is mu plus sigma. Okay, this is for x equals to mu. Z is zero. Now that if x is equal to mu plus one standard deviation. If I plug this x into this machine, what happens to my z value? What is the value of z? z is x, x is mu plus sigma minus mu, okay, divided by sigma. Mu and minus mu, they cancel out, we get sigma divided by sigma equals to one. So this number, mu plus sigma, is nothing but z equals to one. So your z is one. Okay. So as you can see, you are not working with the confidential data anymore. All of these numbers are converted into zero, one, they don't even to see negative one, two, negative two, Three, negative three, and so on. Let's plug in one more number. I'm going to take this x value, mu minus sigma, and I want to calculate the z. So x is mu minus sigma. Z becomes mu minus sigma is my x. I'm going to plug that into this formula, into this machine, minus the mean divided by sigma. It's on the formula, I have to write it down. Mu and minus mu, they cancel out. 
I left with negative sigma divided by sigma, which is negative one. Guys, this number mu minus sigma is just negative one. You can convert the rest of them into z value. You get two, three, negative two, negative three, and these signs of your zero. So the mean of a zero with standard deviation equals to one. This is for a standard normal distribution. Again, why we did that? We have confidential data. We have information that we are not allowed to share, but you can take these X values, use this machine, Z, and convert them into some numerical values that help you to analyze the data and use it in public without being worried about the actual data being exposed. 